Today we're going to talk about basic knowledge of a Mach 70 valve with a side mounted positioner. All the information on the tag is very crucial. Make sure all the information on the tag you acknowledge. So, I mean, this is basically stating what's in this valve, where it's at, if the reflection of the tag is too shiny. So, you know, know that you're dealing with a 70. Notice your CV. Notice your range, which is a 3 to 15. Notice what type of actuator you have, a 35M. Notice what the action on the valve itself is. And remember, most importantly, you are really actually running this valve 4 to 20 milliamps, even though it is regulated for 3 to 15. With that 3 to 15, note that before you do anything, putting air in this valve, that you want to maintain the max pressure of this valve in order to be safe. And in order to keep your uh, positioner and your actuator functioning at the proper, uh, proper level. All right, all the tags placed on these valves during uh, an after test are there for your convenience, so please follow them. All right, now I'm gonna go into a basic setup for this particular valve. Nope, even though it runs three to 15, it is running four to 20 milliamp. So I have a loop calibrator here to set that up. Whatever signal you have while running to it, make sure it still runs off of that 4 to 20 million. All right, I have it here. There's no blue signals, and I also have it here. All right, as soon as I'm going in here, remember that you don't want to put any more pressure in there than you have to. My max pressure over here is 20 PSI going into the, the positioner, which is leading to the actuator. There's a manual and there is an auto. Right now it is in manual, so you can manually move the valve up and down. All right, it also runs into auto. Tap the hand key once, you can sit this valve into auto, and then you can run it from zero to 100. for the stroke of the valve. That's pretty much a basic setup for the valve. Being that it is uh, reverse, you're gonna be closed and you're gonna open. So I'm just gonna open the valve up one more time. Close it. Valve's closed, normal close to open at 20 milliamps. Hold the hand key. This will get you back to your settings. First one pops up is away. Second one, if you're less than a one inch stroke, it will not be on 90 degrees. It will be on 30 degrees. This is gonna be setting number four, which is your initialization. We'll be back to that one. Parameter setting is fall. This is important because this will tell you the difference between reverse and direct. Basically what it is, is this parameter is gonna fall. Perimeter 38 needs to be into fall, and perimeter 39 needs to be into up, like fall, fall up for this reverse, and for a direct, it will be fall, fall down. So this parameter seven is important. So since we're dealing with the reverse, it needs to be fall, fall up. We're gonna go through all of our settings. Now we're gonna go 12, should be in linear. 34 should be in 0 0.2. Thirty-six, depending on the stroke of the valve and the and the gate that you have on the inside, and the length of the valve, which is basically a one inch, we have um, twenty-six here. So you want to set it up there, the YA or the YE, depending on the valve. Thirty-eight fall. Thirty-nine is up, which is where we want it to be. We're going to go back to perimeter four. Now we're going to start initialization, hold the plus key, this should start initialization. Which it does, once it gets past perimeter 3 or run 3, that means it'll find all the other two, which is 4 and 5. It takes a little while to set up, but when it does, you'll finally be ready to run your valve the way that you'd like.
once it's finished, you want to tap the hand key. Now you want to hold the hand key. This will get you back into your 4 to 20 uh, milliamp settings. Once you're there, you're going to add a little bit more air, no more than 25 max PSI. This will get you to your settings quicker. I'm just going to run up to 100. At this point, you should be fully open. I'm going to run it down to zero. At this point, you should be fully closed. I want to note that all of our valves do come with some kind of warning on them. No matter how much you have to put into the actuator, whether it is a 20 max PSI or a 35 to 40 max PSI, note, do not go over the specified uh, maximum pressure. And the majority of our SPs come with a factory calibrated sticker. This sticker should stay on the valve, on the positioner, and not come off. The reason we put it on there is because when it leaves here, all the settings are pretty much installed into the positioner already. And that is the basic setup for a 70SP.